So I've been reviewing packs for about two years now. And through those hundreds of packs, only a couple have reached the top five for my everyday carry list. This one right here meets that list. This is the VanQuest Ibex 26. This pack came out probably about two years ago now. And it's been, I don't know, it's not an undercover secret or anything, but I just don't hear people talk about it that much. And when I got my hands on it, I was like, man, I gotta show the family this one. This is an excellent, excellent EDC pack. 26 liters, so it fits in that range between 20 and 35 liters. I like a larger pack because I'm a bigger guy, you know, I'm six foot, 265, so I like a larger pack. Now, this pack right here also weighs in at 5.5 pounds, and I know that's going to turn a lot of folks away and say, hey, the pack's too heavy. But a lot of that weight is in the hip belt, which you know I take off. That's like one of the first things that I take off when I get an EDC pack is the hip belt because most of the time I don't need it. Let me show you what I'm talking about on this pack. Down here at the bottom of the pack, they put a thousand D Cordor. So this is a high wear place where they knew that, you know, I want to put a heavier material. This is going to be setting, you know, hitting the ground a lot. Thank you, Van Quest, for thinking about us. They also included like some, they call this their air molly. I've seen people call it air molly. I've seen it called thin molly. Basically, it's Powell's webbing and it's a little bit thinner. So you can attach like a bedroll down here or anything, anything else that you want to attach. As we move up the pack, the rest of the pack is made out of 500D Cordura. So I think those are excellent material choices. Give me a heavier material on the bottom and a lighter weight material up here on the top on the main body of the pack. Now moving up on the front of the pack, you can see there's a lot going on. You got some ice axe loops right here. You got a, a bungee system in the front right here if you want to slide in a light jacket. They even have this hypalon material where you could like slide in maybe an axe or anything long, maybe a fishing rod or something. And this foot down here will catch anything that's, you know, kind of hanging down. You got two daisy chains running down the, the sides of the pack right here where you could clip in some carabiners or anything else that you want to carry. And as you move up, you got that cool ass VanQuest Rhino right there in the front. You also have a loop over top of that where you can clip in a carabiner and you have a morale patch field right here on the top. Let's move around to the side of the pack and I want to show you some of the capability that VanQuest built into this pack. So. As we move around to the side, we got two compression straps. They're wider compression straps, so probably like a one inch compression strap. And then you also have a pocket right here. So on this pocket, you got more hypalon material. So if you wanna hook, clip in like, or hook in a water bottle pocket, you can. You know, definitely they make, VanQuest makes their own water bottle pockets that you can purchase for an additional price. But the star that's shown on the side of this pack is this pocket. You got uh, YKK zips, and they call this, I, I wanna say it's there. These zipper pulls, I have a name, I can't forget right now, but they're great zipper pulls. I don't, I'm kinda con conflicted. I like these zipper pulls, and I also like the Maxpedition zipper pulls that, so it allows you to put your finger in really easily, and you can pull down and open this side up. So inside, you already know. It's got high-vis lining. One of my things that I'm always talking about is I like high-vis lining in packs. This is something that they thought about. So inside, this is a longer pocket. You can put some longer items in here. It's even big enough for you to slip in. This is the 27 ounce Camelback chute. I can slip this in here and zip it up. So not a huge, like a 32 ounce Nalgene, I don't think it's gonna fit in this side pocket, but a smaller, diameter water bottle will fit in this side. You can put a water bottle in there, but you can also put a hydration bladder in this side and you can run it through. There's a hole up here at the top and then run it into the pack and then run it down the shoulder strap. So they thought about you that way. There is a little clip in there so you can Velcro it in. Down at the bottom of the same section, there's some little organizational pockets. Now, the way that they actually put these in, they're kind of wedged in there. It makes it kind of hard for you to use, utilize that organization. One thing, <laughs> there's just a lot of engineering in the side of this pack. So also, they put in a Velcro field or, or 
loop feel on the side of this pack. So if you want to take, this is like a, ma a little Maxpedition organizer, really light, kind of goes with the theme of this pack. And I got in there my Lumatop EDC tool, my Leatherman Juice, G2 Pilot Pen, a Sharpie. Also, I got a little field book right there and the Benchmade Reptilian. All that stuff can fit right here on the side of the pack as my organization. So this pack offers you, you know, the ability to organize and put your stuff however you want. Whatever you can think of, you can stick it in there. So let me rearrange this a little bit. Make sure it's in there. And this like that on both sides of the pack. So super well designed. And the stitching throughout is excellent. Excellent, excellent stitching. Straight seams. It's reinforced in the proper places like on this Hypalon material. You got reinforced stitches right here. Throughout the pack, great reinforcement. On this side of the pack, it's the same story. Same type of setup. Got the compression straps in here. You can see I hooked in a low bearing carabiner and then you got your Spartan zipper pulls. That's what they call them. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> and then you can stick in another organizational panel if you wanted to, a pocket, anything that has, you know, the hook back, you can stick that right there. Also, it's got the hydration hook at the top, so you could carry a lot of water in this pack if you wanted to. Now, let's flip around to the back side of this pack. We'll check out the grab handle, the shoulder straps, and all of the back handle stuff. We'll start at the top right here. If we start at the top, we do have a pocket right here on the top lid of this bag. So you can take some larger items in there. It's taking my whole hand and my hands are not small guys. I got big hands. So you can stick a lot of stuff in there. You know, you can stick an organizer in there if you wanted to. So that's pretty slick. Same Spartan zipper pulls. And then as we move down, what's great about this pack is VanQuest thought about a lot of stuff. Super tough material. They got three grab handles on the back of this pack. You got one right here is a grab handle. If you're pulling this out of the vehicle, you got a grab handle on either side as well. So I'm really liking that. Now, they could have padded. I would have really wished they would have padded the top handle. Just, you know, because that's a place where you're really going to interact with this pack the most. But I don't want them to take off these side, these side grab handles either. These are great as well. So I'm just saying that the top one could have had a little bit of padding. You also have load lifters. You guys know how load lifters work. You kind of pull them. They pull the load up on you to your back a little higher and closer to your back. The, the shoulder straps on this pack are excellent. They contour correctly. They feel really comfortable. They have the correct density in them. Actually, they feel excellent. The vent, there's venting on the back side of them. Really high quality mesh that they use. It feels rugged as hell. They did put in a uh, sternum strap. Not the biggest fan of the sternum strap on an EDC pack. I'll probably end up taking this off. I didn't take it off because I was showing you guys. So I just wanted to leave it on. A, a lot of the straps over here do have strap keepers. So they did consider that. And then you can run your hydration down. There's a little port right here in the middle where you can run your hydration down from either side of the pack and then down to your shoulder straps. Now, I missed that. The sternum strap does have a whistle on it. Let's pull these shoulder straps back and check out this back panel. So there's actually two versions of this pack. There's a 26 liter, which is this, this version right here. There's also a 35 liter. On the 35 liter, the back panel is adjustable. On the 26 liter, it's a fixed back panel. I wish they would have carried that over into the 26 liter pack, just like what Mystery Ranch does on their two day assault pack. Kind of carries that over with the adjustability to move the shoulder straps up and down for those people with shorter or longer torsos. But what they've provided is nice as hell. So there's very <laughs> nice cushioning here with some great airflow. Great filling mesh. The mesh on this pack is, is is really superior to a lot of the packs I've tested and reviewed. The This mesh just feels really good. Now, this is the place where your hip 
hip strap would go down here at the bottom and I had to fight with this thing to get it out. And <laughs> that was why I didn't actually stick it back in there because I was like, man, I'm not fighting with this thing to get it out. But the hip, the hip belt itself is very, you know, it's padded up really well. It's designed to take weight. I mean, it's done very well. Stitched on the side, you got some PALS webbing right here. Reinforced stitches. The buckle is solid, about a two inch wide piece of nylon webbing right here. VanQuest buckle with their branding on it. It's great, but I probably won't ever use it, so I actually just took it off and stuck it to the side. But this back panel as a whole is an excellent construction. Definitely like it. Now let's not wait any longer. Let's get into the main section of this pack. We got larger number 10 size zippers with some rubber uh, finger pulls right here. You gotta make sure your compression straps are off to get full access to the inside. Now these zippers are lockable, lockable YKK zippers. And I love this pack because it clamshells all the way open. So you have a lot of different organizational options in this pack. If you wanna stick pouches in loose, you can. If you wanted to use some Velcro or you know hook and loop pouches, you can. Now let's talk about the lid of this pocket right here. We'll start down here at the bottom. There's a hook and loop field, so if you wanna attach you know, some different hook and loop items. This is a Van Crest organizer that they sent with this pack right here. Basically, it's a bungee. You can attach something inside and it's kind of cinch it up. So I chose to stuck this right here. And then as we move up right here, we have a pocket. In here, I stuck in my Adventure Medical Kit. This is good for one to two people. This pocket actually has a lot of dimension in it. So you can stick some larger items in it. And this mesh is like a see-through, but it's also like a fabric. So, it's, you know, it's gonna hold up to the test of time. And then you have those Spartan zipper pulls right there. Now this pocket at the top is kind of unique. You can actually, it's the same pocket that's on the top lid of the backpack. So you, if you insert in from the top, you get the same access to that same pocket. So it's pretty cool. You can get exterior access to your stuff or when you lay the pack open, you wanna get into your access to that same pocket you can. The star of the show is this interior right here. And I definitely like this setup. The way that they designed this is excellent. So you have hook and loop on the side, each side of this pack. Then you have a Molly or Powell's webbing field right here in the back. So what I chose to do is to pick up some of VanQuest's sticky packs. This is the small version. I think these go for like 20 bucks. So you can stick these on the side in here like this. I actually picked up two of them. So this is another one right here and I can stick it on the side in here. Once it's stuck there, it's stuck there. It doesn't really move. And that's a great way to organize your stuff. And you can also use this right here. This pouch is just a regular, you know, pals webbing pouch, but they give you a, like an adapter that allows it to you be used as a hook and loop pouch. So I can use this pouch and stick it right here in the back. So you can use your regular PALS webbing pouches or you can use these sticky pouches from whatever system that you have. So that's pretty excellent. They also sent along this VanQuest Preppers color coding kit right here, which is pretty damn excellent. What it is, it's a stack of Velcro tabs and they're different colors. So if you want to put like a first aid, you want to mark your first aid kit, you mark it in red. Then they give you this guide so you can lay it in to the backpack so if somebody has to go in your backpack and you say hey get the first aid kit there's a color for it if you want first aid it's red so you just mark mark the corresponding pouch with the red tab that's pretty smart so the white tab is hygiene so this is like baby wipes you know toothbrush toothpaste whatever and then this is just like some some random stuff i just stuck in this pouch but definitely can mark it with these tabs and they give you like a lot of them. I think this is, this came free when I purchased the pack, but I think this is an additional purchase if they're not running the special. So what this pack offers you is a lot of versatility. You can stick these pouches in here any way you want. So you can stick them in here like that. 
stick this one in here like that. And, you know, I can just leave out the larger pouch right here. If I don't need it that day, now I'm good to go. And then you also have a hydration uh, pocket in the back and it also doubles as a laptop compartment. So if you wanna stick your laptop in here, this is a MacBook Air, slide that in here. Suspend it off the bottom and it's the perfect fit. It also has straps on the side. Let me pull these pouches off. It has straps on the side if you wanna tighten this section up. Maybe you have a smaller laptop like I have. You wanna tighten this section up so it does. the laptop doesn't have that much play in the back. You can definitely do that. And this is the, up the top is where you can hook in a hydration bladder here. And then you also have the holes that we talked about earlier where if you wanted to put the hydration in the side, you got holes right here to run your hydration in and out of this pack. So we're down here at the end of the video and we gotta talk about price. The price on this pack is $194.99. For that price, do I think it's worth it? I say yes. This is an excellent pack from the bottom to the top. Great materials throughout. The sewing is excellent. The comfort on this pack is excellent. The, the ability to configure this pack in the way that you want, I think is the major selling point in this pack. Not only, it just, and this pack just looks cool. This is a cool looking unique pack. Now, the weight is an issue. I think if it was a little bit lighter, I think more people would be interested in this pack. But because of the weight, that's gonna steer some folks clear, and that's okay. There's a lot of lighter packs out there. But for me, this is an excellent pack. VanQuest offers a limited lifetime warranty on this pack. I'm not connected to them. I just wanna show you this pack because I think it's so damn excellent. I pay for this pack with my own damn money. <laughs> for those who are interested in the pack, you, if you go directly to VanQuest, you do get a military and law enforcement discount. I think it's like 10% is what I got. So you can get that if you want it. You can also pick this pack up on Amazon. So it ships for Prime as well. But I think this is an excellent pack. How does it fit on my top 10? I think this pack is in a close tie race with the Alpha 1-Niner at number one for me. I think it's better than the Mystery Ranch two-day assault pack for me. So those are my top three. The Mystery, the uh, VanQuest Ibex 26, the Alpha 1-Niner Evade 1.5 full, and the Mystery Ranch two-day assault pack are my top three packs. This one's gonna get a lot of love, a lot of rugged use out of it, man. Thanks for watching George Define, guys. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. We come out with videos like every week talking about EDC backpacks, knives, flashlights, and gear. If that's your kind of thing. Write it down in the comments. I love to answer and talk about you know EDC stuff all day long. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.